Hello and welcome. In this series, we are going to build a Java app to extract data from Jira using the REST APIs. In this very short episode, we'll just outline our development environment and the requirements for our app. Let's jump straight into the requirements. Our application needs to perform five basic functions. First, log into Jira. We'll pass our credentials and we'll get a response back. Second, we'll parse the JSON ID out of that response so we can use it as an authentication token for subsequent requests. Third, we'll actually request data. We'll use the JSON ID to make some requests and we'll try a few different APIs here. Fourth, we'll convert our response into CSV. Our response from the APIs comes back in JSON format and we'll convert that to CSV formats that can be used by almost any reporting BI or data science tool set. And lastly, we'll save it to file. We'll save that CSV into a file so it can easily be accessed by other users or tools. Now that we've established our requirements, what resources do we have to make this all happen? Well, first of all, I have created a private network to simulate me working inside a company. It has two subnets, a resources subnet, which hosts the company's internal resources like the Jira server, file servers, email servers, etc. And a developer subnet, which hosts all of the developer's machines. It's important to note that I've opened up port 2990 here between these two subnets so my development machine can talk to the Jira server. That's just the default port. You'll want to check which port you use to connect to Jira. Inside the resources subnet, I have my Jira server. That's a stock install of the Jira server downloaded from Atlassian. When I logged into Jira for the first time, I chose the option to create a sample project. This automatically created five or so issues with a few comments logged on those issues. That wasn't enough for me to properly test things though, so I created a few more projects and issues, and then I added test users and had them enter some more comments and work log entries. Then on the other side is my development machine. I'm using a Mac today. It has the Java SDK installed, and I also installed the JSON simple library. It's a JAR file that I downloaded from the Maven repository and copied it into my class path. Well, that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll start coding by creating a skeleton class with some stubbed out function declarations to represent each of our five basic operations. I look forward to seeing you there. Thanks for watching and bye.